Hello there, people of the internet. My name is Udwur Jagero, and this is Dialogues with Jagero. Today, I'm talking with men why they have abandoned women. And women are saying online that uh, there, there are no quality men. Men who are making too much fair, you know. Fair. Ah, kuna. They're the ones who are providing the money. They're the ones who are doing this and that. They were. Yani, when I come to them, they come with them. Ah, when I come to them, they come with them. Ah, when I come to them, they come with them. Ah, when I come to them, they come with them. Ah, when I come to them, they come with them. Ah, when I come to them, they come with them. Ah, when I come to them, they come with them. Ah, when I come to them, they come with them. Ah, when I come to them, they come with them. Ah, when I come to them, they come with them. Marriages only benefit men. Uh, the men are no longer approaching them. The men wanna wa, wanna wa, wanna wa, wanna wa defraud of pesa. Wanna kuja kuishi kwa manyumba yao. But but uh, <laughs> Jagero, <laughs> we, we have to also understand mm-hmm. that kwa society yetu kuna fraudulent men. Tunawaitaga thieves ama con men ama. Mm-hmm. So if you meet a con man, yeah, you are more likely to be conned. So they should differentiate between men and con men. Do you agree? And there are honest men out here. If you meet a con man, you will end up being conned. Uh, so and ca- I do not agree with the first almost three statements you made. Because, Which ones? Uh, that men to know about fair. Surely, nani asha yu mba fair hapa. Lakini si mademu wanauli, wanasema hapo inji ya kwamba hao ndo wanawalisha. No, no, who? No, like, okay. They, they, kuna men wanalishwa. Una get? Yes. Ina exist. Like, let's not hide from it. Yeah. Ina exist. Yeah. But let us not make it look like because you are feeding one man, unanza kusema I'm feeding men. Yeah, you cannot kill but, a woman. But, but I think what generally what women are saying out there is that <coughs> they are no longer good they, they, are, they use different terms they are no good men they are no responsible men they are no quality men men are trash okay zagero can i ask you yes. define a good man hmm? define a good man me me miss jui miss jui I, f- because we, women are also really flip flopping mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. I, i feel like they're really also really flip flopping mm-hmm. they they really they want to have their cake and eat it mm-hmm. you know there, there is okay I think in conversation uh-huh. let me try and take a different perspective to it. Yes. Uh, the relationship between men and women uh-huh. throughout history. Yeah. It has been for the betterment of society. Okay. It is not so that uh, so that it's not a weekend thing. Uh-huh. It is so that we build a society. You get married, take care of your family, take care of your kids uh-huh. and your kids continue taking care of society. Okay. So we cannot start reducing all these things into pettiness like <laughs> in pettiness. Sailona semati men wanaomba fair nini. That mm. is pettiness. So the focus should be on what are we trying to build. You are talking about you are talking about patriarchy that they also don't like. They do not it like is, patriarchy is, because how, yeah. this mm-hmm. this uh, we are in the age of Aquarius. Yeah. It's the age of awakening. Yeah. Uh, the rights most mm-hmm. of these ladies are enjoying out here mm-hmm. were fought for back in the 1920s in mm-hmm. the 1800s mm-hmm. it takes that long for such societal changes to start applying to people so <coughs> i can agree and i commend ladies for being liberal nowadays mm-hmm. but there are some things that just don't make sense because this war between this gender this this gender that will never end because we are specifically designed mm-hmm. to perform specific purposes are we? in this society are we yeah mm-hmm. traditionally a man should provide yeah traditionally a woman should be nurturing and raise the family but we have come to times when women are going out here winning for themselves and men prefer to sit back home and take care of their families we cannot fault people for that mm. but i think it is wrong to say that men these days there are no good men just because i want to sit at home and take care of the family if you feel like you have the ability to take care of the family and you want to go out there as a lady by all means knock yourself out yeah. if i feel that i want to stay at home and take care of the kids i will knock myself out so so as a man there, there, there should be no pro- no no a problem with a man being a, him- a homemaker yeah. like like you you do not have a problem with sitting down at, no no let not talk about sitting down mm-hmm. Remaining back at home. Mm-hmm. Uh wendo una mwambia 
uh, the the house manager that I want you to go and get veggies in Kawangware or Lovington or wherever. I want you to go and get onions. I want to go to this. I I drive to this. You drive to the supermarket and get toilet paper. Mm-hmm. You come back and find and 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 run the washing machine. Ama kama kuna washing machine we wash na peke yako usaidiane na mboch kitu kama hiyo. Personally. Na, na msichana uh, akuwe hapo kwa ofisi tao <laughs> aki grind we alafu alafu akikuja <laughs> akikuja jioni wewe <laughs> unawe una, unafika magoldi chini unasema mama nani welcome home <laughs> that what you're describing when the roles when the gender roles are interchanged from yeah. what you're describing yeah. is definitely patriarchy you yes. see from my perspective mm-hmm. i would not you'll, prefer, you'll come in <laughs> i would not prefer to stay at home yeah. and take care of the kids mm. i would like to provide for my family for my people yeah. but i'm just saying for the case that a man wants to sit at home and take care of the kids mm. let him do that for himself because mm, this conversation about this gender should do this that gender should do that has a lot of double standards yeah. that is the problem i have with that conversation mm. because if you want a man who completely provides for you from a to z then you completely stay at home and be a wife yes if i want to stay at and, home and, and, and cook take for care, and cook for him yes and, and wash his him. clothes because uh, ladies these days think that we appreciate things like makeup big bunda yeah for mm. the sight big mm. bunda is very good mm. for the sex big bunda is very good yeah but the difference between <laughs> big bunda yeah. and somebody who maintains a marriage is that this person who's maintaining a marriage is a homemaker yeah somebody who has been trained to be a wife yeah many a lot of ladies these days they just want to be married but they do not want to be a wife okay great you are you are you ulikuwa na chemka mali sijini mimi nilisema kitu mbaya no like saile unasema ati men want to stay home okay i'm a traditional african man you're a patriarch thank you tuko hivyo for me you're a patriarch you tell me you're a patriarch yeah for me i i i am for that like, yeah. i am a traditional african man mm. and i believe in the african tradition yeah that um, a man should step up mm-hmm. any time and every time that he is needed to step up for the sake of the family community or society mm. so when we talk about the this new world that we live in mm. this online world can you define it what the, that see, new world is i will give you an example okay. and i hope this doesn't come out Mm. in a negative way yes <coughs> just an example yes be be honest as much so, as you can this is dialogues with jagir yeah yeah uh, let's say for example mm-hmm. if a man did what azia did in 2020 mm. would they be as rich as azia is right now what did she do do you know <laughs> yes i know what she did she actually comes from my home area Yeah, what did she do? Um she started trending because she started this TikTok challenge and she was the best at it of this song called Nikikupea utawezana. <laughs> and so, she went viral for it. Okay. So if a man did that challenge, would it work for them the same way? No, it wouldn't. Yeah. So the society takes treats us differently. Mm-hmm. So let us not start behaving as if a uh, man should be anything more than what they can be. Mm. We can only be what we can be. If you are a hunter, you are a hunter. If mm. you are a gatherer, you are a gatherer. For men in our society today, achieving simple achieving simple things like paying rent, yeah, becomes a task for a man. Yeah. Because making those monies it is directed towards women like women can make money more easily than men can mm. so if we start gauging our society on how much money we are making yeah then we will start thinking men are inferior mm. but it's just that men cannot make money in this with the same avenues and the same ease that women do it mm. can so, you can you can you explain more a little bit of how women women are easy are it's easy for easier for women to make money and no and and then, more difficult <coughs> so to at, speak at, 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 let's talk about the, the the corporate world yeah if you go and you're trying to get a corporate position yeah and you're competing against let's say women yeah who has a, the highest chance of getting that position women will tell you that men are still uh, the majority in the corporate world 
but who has the higher chance of getting that position uh okay I, Jagero, how many friends do you have male female let's do a percentage yeah how many female friends do you have that drive vehicles worth more than a million bob female friends we, female friends have better cars i think i would i would leave it at that yes. female friends have better cars between female and male friends yeah who love cars the most men Why but who get men the have better cars than men <laughs> because because financially they are not able to afford better cars men. why are they not able to afford better cars financially because we are not making as much because we yeah for sure we are not making as much if if mstana kisha mataku kwa instagram pesa inamwagika we can't do this sisi sisi hatuna hata matako so then <laughs> <laughs> so then why would you why would you then judge me yeah for not being able to take you out every week yeah when i am not even making close to what you are making but you see that that you that, see as a man Jagiro, yeah, yeah. as a man mm. i'm not only taking care of my girlfriend yeah i have my mother mm-hmm. i need to take care of mm. i have my sister she's struggling i need to take care of mm. i have my aunt she's struggling i need to take care of yeah. so men have this responsibility but the woman will tell you that i also have those relatives no but you, you can take care of them just don't expect me to spend more on you yeah. so that my family members are sleeping hungry mm. just because you need to have pizza every thursday yeah really we have to be <coughs> realistic jagero <laughs> you cannot call yeah, me uh, yeah. there is something he has said yeah. that i totally agree with mm-hmm. and if you heard how he phrased it he said mm-hmm. a man should not be anything more than what he should be he has not said anything less mm. so we do not perceive being anything other than being a man as less he has said it is more yeah so that definitely means that it is not inferior penye na disagree na eh my friend i was born into this world yes i have grown up to this time yeah kila mtu ako na maisha yake mhm um happy i come from a family where wazazi wangu wako sawa yeah. they are not rich wako sawa mm. you will never find me taking care of them Yeah I have my own life to live mm. nitajijunga mimi na watu wangu mm. because up to this point there is a certain life I have lived and there are some things that have made me the man I am today mm. that I had to go through alone mm. You see one difference between wanaume na mm. madem mm-hmm. where penye wanatushinda is emotional intelligence in this case when a lady comes from a heartbreak and she goes telling her friend I have seen girls coming and cuddling together just because one of them is heartbroken mm wanamfunika wanambaia popcorns wanamnulia gift wanam console um on the other side when a man is heartbroken kwanza kuongea ni ngumu number one. yeah number two, akiongea unaambiwa nini piga shot yeah. you see that is a coping mechanism That is not a solution to that emotional vulnerability that that man is feeling at that point yeah. because utapiga shot ulewe kesho asubuhi ukiamka ni we na roho yako yenye mevunjika na huu jamaa kwa wapi kwa nini uendi kwa huu jamaa akusol console si 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 msema dem yeye anaenda kwa wasichana wenzake wanamconsole na mbona wewe utaki kwenda kwa huu jamaa ku console let me take you back to when we were kids yes uh, angalia situation yenye tunacheza kalongolongo si ndio mm. you know boys we are definitely rough mm. uh, tunacheza ma games that are a bit more physical and we are physically stronger mm. than ladies si ndio yeah. so ukikimbia uanguke ukiwa mtoto uanze kulia at the same time your peer who is a girl akimbia anguke nani ataambiwa bas bas pole <laughs> nani ataambiwa bas bas pole ndio anaambiwa wewe unaambiwa wewe 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 anaambiwa wewe ni mwanaume amka changamka so it starts from way back we are not trained to be that emotionally vulnerable yeah unaona so umefika hii point yenye but there is a reason for that yeah. would you would you what is the reason We are not trained. Okay, I I began this by saying I'm a traditional African man. Yeah. And the reason we are not trained to be emotionally vulnerable. Yeah. And this might might seem weird to a lot of people. Yeah. It's because of the responsibilities that we have. Mm. 
you cannot put your emotions into it because exactly. we all know you have to be objective for you to be for you to be emotionally uh, aware yeah you will have to take mm. a slight stop jamaa meleta chai na nini na na maji na maji to pick a maji where where would you look like somebody who do drink <coughs> me yeah. really really i do but really uh, where do you drink i do not you do no you do not no eh bana niko na wa kristo kwa wa kristo aje drinking is just one vice tunaweza kuwa madaras huko nje hiyo ni bala now now let's uh, as we as we start no. this let's 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 introduce each other do you know we have not introduced each other <laughs> my name is udur jagero this is dialogues with jagero we we our our kujui ya patalog su jagero ningeoma useme jina yako useme handles yako kama unataka najua wewe ni mtu wa tiktok sana acha 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 songe kwanza that's my camera na alikuwa mimi ya wewe ni kama team nimeitwa ni napenda online ni kama team nimekuja kwa studio yako na kuna camera na kurecord wewe But hey. it's okay anyway uh, my name is Scott Ian Obaro yeah. I, I am a creative filmmaker photographer graphic designer mm. that's what i do and on all pa- pla- hey, hey, platforms hey. platforms same as platforms english ni ngumu kiasi and and on all platforms you can find me at scott ian obaro yeah mm. scott ian obaro everywhere yeah, cuts across the board hey. that means that that name is very is not is not it's not that common the combination obaro when i'm lawyer yeah i'm a lawyer ah mm. like ni hiyo baro ya waluya bana mimi sijaisikia uh, baro is a luo name but we share we share we share sharing mm. is caring sharing is caring yeah. <coughs> na uja ma <coughs> eh mimi naitwa benson makabila mm. eh pia mimi ni mluya eh hey. waluya in the house bana ndio hawa sisi waluya <coughs> wanasema mnapenda ugali <laughs> ukweli 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 yes you wrong it's it's, uh, it's, it's like true it's like swag nika swag yetu it's, it's a true stereotype eh yeah, it's a true stereotype uh, we love ugali but uh, yeah naitwa makabila mm. nimewak kwa entertainment industry for a while mm. na pia napenda napenda community development that is yeah. that is my love okay mm. ah sawa sawa bwana So we were talking about what I don't remember mm, emotional vulnerability I was, I was telling you hapo mm-hmm. sawa no 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 ni sawa mm. uh, the reason the reason we as men sometimes we find it difficult to share our emotions mm-hmm. umemuliza why not go to fellow men yeah okay for me as a traditional african man you keep will, saying that word traditional, traditional <laughs> african man what does, exactly. what does it, what, what is the definition of a, of a, <laughs> what is the, what's the definition of a traditional african man a traditional african because man i i feel i feel I, african, i feel i feel patriarchy vibes it's an african man that believes in african traditions and which, african beliefs and which are we have a lot of them Okay. We are Africans. You yeah. know how Africans we be. Mm. But there for is, but there is modernized men. Mm. We have modernized men who do not believe that our culture has anything to do with the betterment of society or anything. Mm-hmm. That our cultures are archaic mm. and evil and they should be done away with. Mm. So I'm not among those men. Mm. That is what I mean by a traditional African man. Yes. So as i was saying the the reason we are not taught to be emotionally intelligent that you do not go to your emotions as the first option mm. is because of the responsibilities that befalls an african man yeah for us everything depends on us he said mm-hmm. <laughs> that he's not worried about the society he's taking care of his own yeah But remember which women find very selfish by the way yeah they find it very selfish <laughs> but 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 yeah, so, <laughs> but <laughs> so for me mm-hmm. what I've experienced mm. and uh, the people who raised me the african men that raised me they taught me to when i go through a problem first sit mm-hmm. understand what you're going through so that when you come to a fellow man to an elder or 
your elder brother or your father to ask for help mm. the first question they will ask you is what were you thinking mm. ata ukipatwa na shida in our african setting they will the first question is so what is your plan mm. cuz as a man come with a plan first yeah so that is what happens to us that before you go to people start telling them that i'm suffering from a heartbreak and stuff yes the first question is what have you figured out mm. so you cannot be emotional when you need to figure out what you are going through yeah so that is how we've been brought up and you will find for hybrid men i will call them hybrid men mm. for them it is emotions first okay and then people need to sort out no no nobody is sorting out your problems mm. they are yours so yeah. take care of your stuff before you come to us do you know why mm. because we are also taking care of our stuff mm. we have not come to you because we haven't figured out what we are coming to ask for because mm. when you go to someone you are going to ask for help yeah so what help do you need you can't just say help mm. what do you need If you are drowning, do you need a floater or do you need a rope? Mm. Cuz you might want to flow with the river, you just don't want to drown. Mm. Or you might want to get out of the river. So what is the plan? Mm. So as a traditional African man, I do not go to my emotions first. Mm. I first go to my psyche and figure out how do I sort this out. And then after I've figured out I need 100,000 then i start thinking okay in my phone book jagero can offer me 50 yes. where do i get the other 50 una pata kwa scott 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 said something that women have always found very uh, i'm going to come back to you and ask you about patriarchy because i feel like you're a patriarch before we even go to that okay. i want to disagree with him on one point yes i think you have the definition of a hybrid man very wrong you can disagree because, with my idea. because <laughs> This, yes. this is why this is why mm-hmm. um i think his definition is wrong because mm-hmm. a hybrid aims to seek the best of both worlds yeah you take the best from this side and the best from that side mm-hmm. that does not mean that when i have a problem yeah. i will put my emotions first that is an effeminate person yes not a hybrid person mm. when i have a problem I always sit down and think fast mm. but I will not ignore what I am feeling yeah. just because I have a problem. Yeah. You see. So, a hybrid, Do you consider yourself a hybrid, a hybrid man? Yes, I am a hybrid man because there are things from the traditional African society I totally agree with. Yeah. And there are things from modernization that I totally agree with. Mm-hmm. And there are things from both worlds that I totally disagree with. Yeah. So For me if I am in a position where I am emotionally vulnerable mm. I will not ignore what I am feeling mm. just because I have to be tough and objective mm. what I will do is that I will feel whatever I'm feeling and wait for it to subside before I can make any decision mm. so that to make sure that decision is as objective as I can get Let it. so 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 unaenda kwa 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 vijana wenzako na unalia Let me ask Scott something Let me ask Scott something Yes, yes. yes. Okay Scott uh-huh. This is a hypothetical mm. and I'm not wishing anything but yeah it's just a hypothetical mm-hmm. let's assume right now as you are here mm-hmm. you get a text message from your girl mm-hmm. she's like I'm done I can't do this anymore mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. that's a heartbreak yeah uh-huh. no for me no it's not okay do you love you now you just threw Th- me that off. is like, the problem i thought you love yes, your woman yes men like need it. to love with their heads not their hearts that is how you now get you your see, heart that's broken that's the difference but you think you think when a woman tells you that this is out this is over you're okay. going to think uh, that's the listen, difference between listen hybrid listen, men mm-hmm, and listen. traditional men yeah yeah um, let me listen to him i think mm-hmm. ladies should fall in love with their man and the man should have love for their woman there's a difference between those surely <laughs> See this is it. Okay. The, I was once uh-huh. as traditional as he is. Mm-hmm. I could love with the whole of my heart. Mm-hmm. But I have realized that in today's world everybody looks out for their interests. Everybody looks out for their interests. No matter how many acres of land you have bought for them, no matter how many children you have together. 
So what you have to do is to detach yourself from the expectation that this person will never hurt break you. This person will always be there because one day they will leave even unintentionally when things unfortunate as death. You see something like death is something that can push me to mm. being heartbroken. Yeah. But things like promiscuity, dishonesty, lies, hizo tabia mbaya za mtu zisikusumbue akili. Unajua unajua what I what I am getting. You are your generation Z. A generation uh, Z as they say it in Kenya, right? Who jamani millennial. Na huu jamaa akona shida na millennials. Kwanza kisiasa pia. Anasema nyinyi hamna <coughs> plan mm-hmm. na alisema vizuri nyinyi mm-hmm. mlienda huko mkapiga mayowe mkaingia parliament mkaiba chakula mm-hmm. ya ya nani ya ya yao majama mm-hmm. ya kina murkomen yeah. chakula eh. yao imenuliwa na taxi <laughs> sasa we are going we are coming we are we i am going i'm going to come back to that but i'm see i'm seeing a very a very big difference between between the two of you mm-hmm. and i want to <coughs> So that we don't believe this point so that we don't believe this point no but i need he, to help him he's my younger brother so <laughs> i don't need help no no you you you, 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 see, you see, sasa sasa is you know she da agency mna mna mko na ujinga sana yes you ujinga yes you ujinga sim jinga ujinga is not ujinga ni nini you do you recognize that you i and him yes. have lived totally different and separate lives and we've had very different experiences yes and i am sure yes. if he had been born during my time yeah. he would be exactly like me uh-uh. that is one thing that is one thing i understand about all of us bas 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 let's 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 uh let's um, let's, let's 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 go back to the beginning yeah. because here uh i want to ask you about patriarchy mm-hmm. do you think that patriarchy women have said that patriarchy does not help them mm-hmm. I do not believe that patriarchy is not helping women. Patriarchy is helping women. I believe that. Yeah. I don't know what he thinks about patriarchy because for me I think of myself as a patriarch. Mm-hmm. And my patriarchy has nothing to do with women's rights. Mm-hmm. It has nothing to do with their well-being mm-hmm. negatively, mm-hmm. so to speak. Yeah. For me as a patriarch, I believe that I should take care of the people that are within my household. Okay. The women that are my friends, I should take care of them. Mm-hmm. I should protect them I should do everything but also I believe that as a man I I don't want to say I'm the head of <laughs> but you are <laughs> but you are <laughs> but you are <laughs> for the for the sake of argument mm-hmm. I would say I'm the head of my house mm-hmm. because I think my wife I have a feeling my wife looks up to me mm-hmm. I have a feeling my daughter looks up to me mm-hmm. I don't uh, think that's a feeling it's an intuition Yeah. <laughs> They let me go with the <laughs> So, and uh I have never battered my wife. Mm-hmm. I have never I've never laid a hand on my daughter. Mm-hmm. But I still think I remain a patriarch. Okay. And uh but women these days say that patriarchy has not helped women. Mm-hmm. Because they say that patriarchy is what has made women to be slaves of men slaves of household mm-hmm. domestic slaves the patriarchy is what has led to a lot of rape patriarchy has led to this and this and this and that i don't know what is your understanding of patriarchy okay mm-hmm. my understanding of patriarchy number one is providence yes providence just mm-hmm. as you said i agree with you that patriarchy has nothing to do with any negative effects mm-hmm. on our ladies yeah because a man should provide mm. a man should protect because if you can't protect alafu mvamiwa kwa nyumba saa sita usiku will you ask your wife to go check who is there e, t- <coughs> yeah today today but, there are women in the internet who are, who are who have no problem with with them but waking check, up and check checking check on how well their marriages are doing check on how well their marriages are doing you know one thing people should do they should allow men to be men and what, does, men what does that mean you should allow okay uh, let me give you this example mm. you or oh, i mm-hmm. am with my wife yes she i ask her to dress up i want to take you somewhere and then she comes dressed in something that is too revealing for my liking yes yes when i comment that i do not like how you're dressed yeah. the modernized liberal woman would think that i'm trying to on her control what she wears 
and tell her what to do. When in real sense, I have love for you. You are my wife. Yeah. I know what other men think. I know the perception people will have of you yeah. when they see you walking around like this. Mm. And let me not mince my words. Men are judged out here by the type of woman you are with a lot. Mm-hmm. So if you are with a loose woman, wewe ni hoipoloi. Loose meaning that she have her, 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 her clothing is revealing. Mm, not really, because mm. in some instances, like let's say we are going out, yeah. it's at night and we are going to party. Uh, mm. By all means, put on whichever revealing cloth you are putting on. Mm. Nona, but whatever you have on, mm. make sure you maintain the respect you have for your husband yeah. and yourself. And yourself. It actually starts with yourself. Mm. you get some type of attention that you yourself wouldn't want and I as your husband yes. would not want you to get or as, your, as the boyfriend you would get pretty privilege from, me, from men in the club mm. your story will go to Nongelea that women make more money very easily yeah. just because of being sexualized and then uh, unfortunately in today's world Utona dema metingisha nyash online ametumiwa pesa. Yes. That same girl you will find huko nje akisema please stop objectifying me stop sexualizing me. You let me ask you if you open Instagram. Yes. You see a beautiful lady on her profile. Scroll to her profile and the first post you're meeting is nyash and thighs. What will you think about her? You as a man. Mm, it's problematic. It's problematic. It's it's very problematic, especially when you put it side by side with her beliefs mm-hmm. and the things that she preaches. Mm-hmm. So, because because when you say as a woman that my body is mine and I do whatever I want with it, the other question is, then why is it that you are telling men? not to think of your body the way they want yeah because the mind is mine i can think whatever i want yes so so i think so so that is the question but anyway i want to ask him about patriarchy because i've not i've not i've not gotten a straight answer from him the the word the mm-hmm. word the word patriarchy mm-hmm. today in our society today it's very negative mm-hmm. do you th- do, do you think that uh, the word patriarchy has been has been uh, has been probably put in bad light or fertilized so yes, to speak yes it has been put in bad light because mm. patriarchy what it means is that we see the man as the leader yeah but you see being the leader doesn't mean you are a dictator yes you get mm. we've been raised in patriarchal societies and w- some of us have never seen our parents hit our mothers Yeah. I've never seen our parents uh, openly disagree with our mothers. Mm. And even when they did or if they wanted to have an argument, some of us would be sent outside. Yeah. Why? Because the respect had to remain. Mm. The kids had to understand that your father is still your father. Yeah. He is the one in charge. Because your mother will teach you how to love that is the, that is the that is the that is the the thing that that i think a lot of people uh, uh, the reason why a lot of people do not like patriarchy because of the, of that phrase alone that a man is in charge and and a modern woman or a hybrid man <laughs> you see when women <laughs> together, 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 do not, not like, want do not want they that in fact the word is that they are get triggered by the word i am in charge jagero yeah. when okay mm. what does what does cic mean i don't know what that means the president is the cic yeah commander in chief yes 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 okay commander he in chief he is in charge yes of the armed forces mm-hmm. it means he is the one the armed forces look to yes. for direction mm-hmm. it is not a competition Our president cannot fight. I am sure he cannot shoot an M16 for long. Yeah. But the soldiers can. Yet they still look for to him for direction. Mm. It is the same thing. It is not so that uh, President Ruto uh, can see at the army. Yeah. He's not in charge kunyanyasa the army. He's just in charge to offer direction. 
that when things are going not well yeah the problem is we've made we've made everything about the african culture competitive Explain. it's a competition mm. even in your own house this is someone you claim to love yet you are in competition with them it is supposed to be you and them in competition with the rest of the world yeah not you competing against each other let me ask you a question then we shouldn't be fighting each other yeah let me has, ask uh, ask you a question then do you think that lots of men have given pacheki a bad name by being in charge na kunyanyasa the people that they're in charge of like men who are battering the women men who are who are when you wanna when you like like some lawyer men when you wanna funga unga nisipokuja hiyo kitu haipikwi now understand something jagero yes. when we are talking about these things we we shouldn't simplify them yes. because they are not simple issues yes these are things that affect even our children mm-hmm. because you see the moment you post this it's here forever yes my daughter will meet it one day mm. online yeah and then she will understand this is what my father thinks mm. about this thing yeah so we shouldn't simplify uh, simplify these matters mm. there are men who are raised wrong okay there are men who are not raised they just grow up mm-hmm. so you cannot take that man and then make them the example of what we are trying to talk about. Yeah. Evil cannot be the example of God. Mm. God is God mm. and evil is evil. Mm-hmm. So when someone commits a crime, yeah. it's a crime. Yes. We, if they say shetani ndio alintuma, mutadil na shetani kando. Yes. For us we are dealing with the crime you've committed. Yes. So if a man is behaving badly, it's not because of the patriarchy because we have seen women who are in patriarchal relationships and they are happy. Yeah. So why are we taking these bad apples and taking them as the the poster boys? Wanasema apples was imekuwa mingi. Bad apples imekuwa mingi. Listen Jagero. Yes. When you're looking for someone to stay with, mm-hmm. please understand the person you are looking for. Mm. For me, the person mtule alini advice about relationships yeah uh, it was a white man mm. i was 18 years old mm. i was in a seminar mm. and he said when you go on your first date look at what you don't like about that woman okay look at all the things you don't like about that woman if you find one do not go on the second date because that one thing will keep festering and festering and in future it will develop hate yeah that you will end up in a hateful relationship because of that one thing how about if you have, how about if how about if you have nine things that you like about her and two things perhaps one that you don't like about her jagero i'm telling you, you that one thing yeah you, th- you, throw, bad, you throw out yes. the baby with the bath water bro. Do one, you? Bad <laughs> one, one bad apple one bad apple one bad apple spoils the whole basket yeah so that that simple one thing ndio unapataga mko kwa nyumba and then mtu anaanza kuambia wewe unajua hata kwanza nilikuonea huruma so that one thing keeps growing into something bigger cuz yeah. that one problem you'll keep seeing it every time she does something wrong yeah every time your man does something wrong you keep remembering that one behavior mm. that you noticed okay so it keeps festering so it's important that you choose a partner mwenye mm. unaweza tolerate okay great if you can't tolerate them <laughs> yeah you are in trouble <laughs> let me let me come back to to scott Uh, so, uh, let me let me comment on what he has said. Yes. I may say if you find one bad thing about this person yeah. as he was advised back when he was 18. Mm. You just jump ship. Yes, you Sinjo? just jump ship. Unaruka. Yeah. Mm. I agree with that totally. Mm. Because the kind of bad traits you find in people these days mm-hmm. are the ones that are incorrigible. Mm. Sio zile kama za kitambo. Kitambu ungepata mtu hajui kupika that is a skill you can learn. Yeah. But siku hizi unapata mm-hmm. mtu akikasirika mm. amepasua glasses hapo they are shouting and then you are you are thinking like alikuwa amejam alikuwa amejam nini. 
this person is an adult yeah if you are emotional you should know the avenues the healthy avenues that you can use to take out your emotions yeah. because ukikana mtu mwenye anatupa glass siku moja hiyo glass itakuwa kiss and siku moja hiyo kiss itakuja kwa uso yako yeah sasa utadu and also sorry mm. and also understand jagero that on a first date remember mm. this is the first date mm. you don't know this person yeah So everyone tries to hide their behavior on the first day. Yeah. Yeah. So if you find one, <laughs> there are many. <laughs> it means there are a lot that are hidden. Now let me ask Scott something. Scott Scott, Scott still staying with you. Mm-hmm. To a, a lot of uh, a lot of men today are not dating. In fact, in my pool I of included. Shit. <clears throat> Gen Z bro. <laughs> <laughs> What is wrong with Gen Z? Gen Z? What is wrong with you? Yeah. you guys are no. very interesting. You, you are you are our younger brothers. So, so now 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 um in fact this the in, in as far as dating is concerned I wouldn't put it at the doorstep of only Gen Zs. Mm-hmm. A lot of my friends who are even millennials mm-hmm. are are very first of all they are saying that uh, the women have changed. Mm-hmm. Uh it's it's too difficult to date women mm-hmm. you don't know what they want mm-hmm. they are confusing mm-hmm. uh, they are intimidating what kona mayowe na mkelele sana siku hizi so what is the reason why you are not dating so before you get into the reason why i'm not dating mm. i'm going to tell you that it is not the women or the men who have changed it is times that have changed okay. and if you don't change with the times you will perish mm. <laughs> see uh-huh. let me tell you the problem that gen z's have can i tell you the origin of it yeah our great great grandparents because yeah. one thing i realized after growing up is that i used to think my dad was superman mm. but growing up i realized he's just a human being mm. and having me as a son is the first time he ever had a son and he was just experimenting trying his best according to his beliefs to raise me right So in the process of trying to raise me right you will always make mistakes. When you make those mistakes the child will not perceive those as mistakes because the child is not mature enough to understand that these are mistakes. Things like uh I disagree with things like corporal punishment. There is not even a single day hands were ever laid on me and they helped me become a better person. Mm. They always created resentment for this person inside me. Resentment that I still feel inside myself up to date. Mm. So with them from the way they were raised, they thought that was the right thing to do at that point. But from how I grew up I will never lay my hands on my person or my children. Mm. But you see the trauma lives with me. It was transferred like umetoka job umekasirishwa na mdosi. Mdosi ametransfer hiyo uchungu na hiyo hasira kwako. Because you do not know how to handle your emotions unafika home you transfer it to your wife. Mm. Because your wife cannot challenge you head on she transfers it to the kids and because the kids look at you as a figure of authority na haezi kuambia wanaenda wanapiga paka na dogi so it is negative kinetic energy from the top mm. imeshuka hadi huko chini and imeshuka mpaka kwa panya yeah in each stage there is trauma that has been left behind okay that is why i make such a decision like i will not lay hands on my kids mm. or anything because i know there is a better way to do things yeah so that is where that is why rather you see most of us as gen z's we are not afraid to go on these streets we are not afraid to die mm. because if you look at the demographic most of us have suicide attempts not even once not even twice and at that time when we had those suicide attempts you'll be surprised that the ones who were successful their families were not even aware that this person was depressed or anything of the sort that is why we are so liberal that is why we mostly think about ourselves before putting anybody else because when i was at my lowest when i was almost taking myself out of this earth mm. it is i who brought myself back because there is nobody who will come to your life and save you people will only be instrumental and aid you the decision comes from within yourself mm. you see so that is why most of us 
are as liberal as we are. Mm. We, like, uh, I'm not sure for you, but I could assume that you growing up uh, as a kid between age zero to age 18, you didn't watch a lot of TV. No, but there I, was no TV. I see that you still watch. I did. Akuna TV. I did watch a lot Could of I give TV. You some water? Yeah, thank you for that. Mm. I did watch a lot of TV. Mm. And I being a creative, my mind is always open to knowledge, open to learning, open. I'm always curious. Nataka kujua ini nini nini nini. Mbona wanafanya hii, mbona wanafanya hiyo. That is why I pick aspects that I like mm. from each and every society that I interact Great. with. Great. Now, I asked you why is it that you are not dating? <laughs> so koni chafu kuliko dandora. And so so koni chafu. Let me tell you. Let me, so let me actually give you the reason why. No, like, let I, me I, I let love, me give I the. I want to hear your answer. Let, yeah. me, <laughs> let me give the reason why mm. I am not dating. Yeah. Number one is maybe maybe maybe, cho- uh, maybe explain to us what what so koni chafu kuliko dandora means. Let me come to that because that is not the primary reason. Yes. The primary reason is I myself. Mm. I have things that I want to do for myself. Yeah. I have achievements that I need to make. Okay. And from my experience in the dating world, ladies are such a huge distraction. Number one. They are a huge distraction no matter who you are, no matter what you are trying to do. Before, and that applies to before you discover yourself, you have your purpose straight as a man. I'm still trying to figure my stuff out. Mm. See, the moment I put a lady into the mix, yeah. The provider in me, the patriarch in me, yes, will always think about her, even when I am cutting from half a loaf, yeah, not even a full one. So I am not dating number one because I have. I have not blessed myself with the efficiency that I'd like to achieve. I have not blessed myself with the type of advancement, with the type of qualities that I'd like to achieve for myself because when I decide to serve myself to a lady, I want her to get the full package because I do not tolerate nonsense like stepping out. What is the full package? Um according to my perception, number one, you should have your priorities right mm. unshakably right mm-hmm. not just you you know unaweza kuwa hapo umetulia hizo 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 mambo me is those many words you are using mm. is it is it what i think it is yeah, what that, are you thinking <laughs> or are you overthinking <laughs> <laughs> why do i have a feeling that you are thinking that what any make do kwanza ndo niangalie mambo ya 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 i was coming to that i was coming to that, <laughs> okay. coming to that. Mm. so i i needed to mm-hmm. be efficient on my own because Um unfortunately uh I have grown up in circumstances that were volatile and sometimes calm mm-hmm. and I do not think I am stable enough number one mentally yeah to be somebody's boyfriend or husband mm. number two no no I mean I mean to mambo ya dating sio yeah oh, okay to be mm. somebody's Why boyfriend Uh, mm. I'm explaining there are yes. several reasons. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, said you said you said a, a, a lot of number, them. Number one, <laughs> number one. <laughs> yeah. Number one. Number 1 sijafika penye nataka kufika kwanza and it has nothing to do with money. Number two, I would not want to get somebody's daughter na nimlishe bangi na maji ya tap. Because I love providing. I want to provide. Unaona? And like I see pia na kuja na kitu. Kwani kwani yeye anakuja tu? Now that expectation is something I do not want to put in my head. Unaona? Akikuja na kitu well and good because I prefer a lady who has her own stuff. I mm. do definitely. Unaona? But we unfortunately live in times when ladies wanataka mwanaume a provide kila kitu. You see? Which is not wrong. That is patriarchy, ndio? But I need to know that that day when i am at my lowest you are able to have my back okay number three, soko ni chafu soko ni chafu soko ni chafu meaning i was in a school mm-hmm. in eldoret mo university a very good school in terms of character development yeah. and social life mm. uh, my experiences there mm-hmm. i thought i had seen enough yeah because uh from the let me say from the few ladies i've interacted with or atakama ni wengi i cannot judge all of them based on the the ones i've interacted with you see when 
statements like living my best life are made statements like and this might trigger people but let them be triggered mm. statements like uh, you see the movement like end femicide kenya yes why is it that when a woman is killed it mm. is given a special name yeah and when a man is killed he has just been killed mm. i think it was blown out of proportion in this sense just like there are goons who have infiltrated maandamano mm. there were a bunch of ladies who don't have their morals right who want to perform all these mischievous activities mm-hmm. and not be found and not be judged for it yeah. and not end up dying that infiltrated this group that wanted women to not be killed because men are killed every day okay i hope that you're enjoying this program over the last 15 years i have been working online for clients in america in europe and all over the world and that is why it pains me a lot when i see a lot of african brothers and sisters saying that they do not have a job now this is the problem a lot of people are trying to look for a job in 2024 in their own town in their their local area now the truth is there are no jobs in africa at least not so many jobs the good news is that we have internet these days we have a tablet we have a computer we have a phone and that means that we can do a lot of jobs and those jobs are online that is why over the last 4 years i've been writing a book that is called digital gold mine it is a book that explains to you how you can earn money online the 18 hustles that i've chosen are basically for africans because what happens when you are doing a, a online jobs is that payment is usually a problem So this 18 side hustle that I have put together in this book you can be paid very well and very conveniently okay so the book is only 1000 Kenya shillings that is about $10 you can buy it in Kenya using pay bill number you can buy it online from anywhere in the world using a credit or a debit card all the information about this book is in the description below and if you have a brother you have a wife you have a husband you have a friend who is sitting at home and watching netflix please do buy this book for them if you are the one sitting at home and watching netflix and have nothing to do please buy this book and your life is gonna change forever because i have been doing this online and i've been traveling and i've been enjoying myself and having a lot of fun so thank you very much and now back to program wait let me go back to this gentleman uh, mr makabila Do you want to react before I ask you the question? Yeah, there's something he said. Actually just one point. Yeah. It's not about dating. Mm. He said something about uh, he grew up thinking his dad was a superhero. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I think my dad was a superhero. Yeah. Yeah. So How was he a superhero? My dad raised eight kids. Eight kids. Yeah, took all of us. The basic person has in our family has high school education mm. on a salary of a stock clerk mm. a stock clerk yeah so i think that is some superhero stuff yeah and i think i think and i and i, and I, and I, I think respect him for that. and i think i think um, to add on to that i think that both of you fa- uh, have their fathers think their fathers were superheroes because because i think what he means is are the inner struggles that his dad had rather than the fuck rather than that he wasn't a superhero i'm just saying yeah like um, okay there is the reason i said that it's yeah. not because of him yeah but i've had this conversation like i've been in settings where this conversation happens a lot yeah whereby people are like this this time they use i never care to remember mm-hmm. there is something about giving your family money there is a term they use black, black tax. tax yes, yes. Yeah. black tax yes black tax i really hate that term and yeah so I is, know, it, it, is, is, is can it, you can you explain should we should we should we i i i i do i i think that i do not hate that term myself mm-hmm. and i do not think that term refers to giving back to your parents in my in my understanding it's not giving back to your parents no. my understanding of black tax and i'll, I'll let you i'll let you sure, explain sure. explain what you, what you mean by black tax i i i i have no problem with that with with that term and i don't like what it implies in the sense that uh, as africans we tend to put a lot of weight on others 
exactly. for no apparent reason. Mm. I know of families and fathers and mothers who are putting a burden on their on their children who are supposedly doing well to help those ones. And there is a conversation we had with you to to kisimama pale inje, a long ass conversation. You know, there is a time, my bra there is a there is a time somebody told me that why are you not taking care of your baby? And the baby that they were talking about is my brother who is 34 years old. <laughs> 34 fucking years old and they told me that it is because of me, a brother that I am older, I am older than him by 2 years. I was at that time 36, he was 34. And he was drinking, he was not taking care of himself, he was just there. And they say that I'm the one who should be directly responsible for him. Mm. I was struggling myself. Now, mm. Because this black tax is something that has triggered me. Yeah, it I has, can see that. Yes, it has triggered that. me, okay? We have people who have got brothers, okay? Their brother is working in Safaricom and suddenly all the four siblings wana sema sasa huyu ndio baba yao. Sasa school fees ni yeye, pocket money ni yeye. Wana huyu jamaa wa Safaricom wanawalisha mpaka wanamaliza form 4. Wanaanza kukaa nyumbani bado wanamuitisha pesa. Huyu jamaa wenye anafanya Safaricom maitishwi pesa na brother yake peke yake. Mama yake pia anasema na brother yako. Why don't you take care of him? Why can't you get him? Why can't you raise him? You ni baba yako. Na huyu ni mtoto yake anakuambia you raise up that one. He's something years old. You see? So my problem with the black tax is that in, and I've said it in this podcast there is a time I was in an office with another lady and she call, and and there was a call coming into her phone and she turned the phone. He akafunika simu ikilia nikamuliza sasa and I joked that that why are you not speaking to that man mm. so i was joking like that is his that is his man like a lover mm. you know and she told me she ranted actually she told me i'm i'm tired of that woman and do you know who that woman was the mother Uyo mama akunyumbani watoto kila mtu yeye kila mtu yeye na sahiyo yeye ni housewife Anataka huyu mama chukue pesa kwa bwana yake awatumie. Na wanajua vizuri huyu mama ana kazi. So I think that as Africans what we have done and this is happening a lot in western we, we in western exactly. that is the loos and the, the and the and the lawyers. Yeah. yeah? Mimi I have been fighting people not to stay in my house because watu wanataka kuja kwa nyumba yangu wa watch Netflix na wa red fridge. Nani watu wako 35 na plus. <laughs> and 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 I just I just feel like this is wrong and you're living with 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 people around you cousins and everybody you see that are, that you cannot mimi kwa familia yangu mimi 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 siwezi homba pesa kwa sababu mimi always have money because apparently I am on TV. Na sasa hii TV tu ni YouTube. Unasikia? Sasa you are feeling like wewe 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 kama makabila kwa sababu uko Nairobi wanasikia uko Nairobi wewe you are always having money hata ukisema una pesa watu wanasema you do not want to give so i think that the black tax that people are talking about is the fact that mwacha mtu aishi maisha yake wewe pia uishi maisha yako wewe kama umezaa watoto waine na mmoja anafanya safari kwa mama Airtel ama anafanya Absa Bank ama wapi Watch I enjoy your pesa. And that thing is breaking marriages. Because mchana kwa kwa nyumba, pesa ya buwana oni, kwa sababu anapea makabila, anapea Scott, anapea yule mwingine. The, the, in a, in a, it, 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 it is so bad that sometimes you are feeding your relatives for the, the money that you are using to feed your relatives is the money, and your kid does not have school fees. Mimi there is a time mtu alikuwa ananiandikia messages za ujinga na sasa hii usijalipa fees ya mtoto yangu. Sina fees na yeye anataka yake. Na mimi my, my, my father died in 2001. Baba yangu mama yangu akamfuata 2 years later because of because of because of pressure. You see? Na mtu 10 years later anasema mimi ni baba yake. 
Wewe wewe mambo ilikuwa yako. <laughs> I would also like na, to comment on na, that. <laughs> I, I I do understand like I understand where you are coming from and there is like what you are talking about that is like an extreme situation like the case is an extreme situation but uh, for me how I look at it nikikwambia yeah. that I hate the term black tax yeah for me how I look at it is that uh, my mom is like 70 years old now yeah. 68 mm. so I am 33 yeah if you minus that's about 40 years 40 years yeah so she had her sixth born son when she was 40 yeah sixth okay yeah and she was taking care of two other kids from my dad's other wife mm so those are eight kids she's taking care of yeah while she's 40 mhm all these kids need to go to school she had to make to make a lot of sacrifices because now we are putting ourselves not in our own shoes mm-hmm. in our parents shoes now can you imagine my dad was a stock clerk my mom mm-hmm. was a stay at home mom so a homemaker yeah so her job was to till the farm and make sure we had food mm. my dad was to make sure we had school fees now these two people have raised eight kids to a place where we can now stand on our own yes yeah mm. through all that and then they see you jagero yeah now as i said your case is extreme so mm. i'm using you as a hypothetical yeah they see you with a mercedes benz yes and then they're like okay it's good you're driving a mercedes benz but can you show your brother how to drive a mercedes benz mm So for us most of the time we take it as if it is financial. Yeah. We take it like they want our money. It's not the money they want. They did not give up on us when they had every right to give up with no money taking care of eight kids. Mm. They had every right to say pia nyinyi mnaweza kuwa kwa watoto wa jirani wenye waendi shule they had every right to give up and live their lives but they sacrificed now it is our turn and we are like ah black tax man no everybody has to sacrifice before 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 <coughs> before 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 <laughs> just, just yes. a second okay <laughs> okay okay go on go on everybody has to sacrifice and you see these sacrifices come in different ways because for me I would say there is a lot of things. Minimelelewa like after I left the village I was 11 when I left the village. Nikakuja kuishi na ndugu yangu Nairobi. I don't ask my brothers for money. Okay, saile siko broke. You get. <laughs> But what they showed me when they pulled me out of the village yeah. is that this is how you can survive. Yeah. And I picked from there. They sacrificed So when they call me Saile Nikopoa and they're like bro I'm stuck. Yeah. Sifikiri black tax bro. Mm. For me it is it is my time. Yeah. They sacrificed now it's my time. And 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 can I now can I now say something? Yes. But but what if you you do not have anything to spare for them when they're asking for that help? Okay, yeah. Bro like okay. you might really want the, to the, help the the whole idea uh-huh. the whole idea of uh-huh. sacrifice uh-huh. the whole idea of sacrifice uh-huh. is that you don't have enough yeah but you are still giving mm. you get that is sacrifice sacrifice is not when you have surplus it is when you don't have enough for yourself you remember that story in the bible about was it elijah or elisha mm-hmm. who went to a woman and and she had only bread for one day yeah hey, hey, hey. we were unga yeah, we yeah. were unga i think it's yeah it's elisha or Eli- elijah i don't e- elijah, elijah. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm she made a sacrifice yeah because she told the prophet we can share this yeah and then we can all wait to die yes That is what sacrifice. Okay. I, I don't think you've understood my question. I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. It doesn't okay. have to be enough. Ndona kwambia. Yeah. I I was not talking about 
you having half a loaf and splitting it into two quarters and sharing yeah, it yeah. Yeah. i'm talking about mtu anakuitisha usaidizi is in need of your help but how now but you can just say sina like so even, yeah, even that when, is the answer and, and, I was looking for. yes no, yes the answer i was yeah, looking for exactly. and, 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 and you don't have to make it mm-hmm. seem like the other person mm-hmm. is a burden to you so now so now so now so now i think i think now we understand each other mm-hmm. and 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 i think you was when you when you talked about my case as very extreme mm-hmm. now it's a, it's very extreme for a lot of people because when i hear you talk okay um there's a difference Yeah. There's a difference of what for me uh black tax has been for a very very long time. So the th- the difference is we are living in Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Okay? We are living in Nairobi. Mimi I live in Nairobi. I've been living in Nairobi for the last 10 years. Mm-hmm. And Nairobi sometimes is so hard that you do not yani kuna watu wa ku village I want our lipi rent. Okay? Mm-hmm. Our lipi rent wako na shamba hawalimi Okay, how limi shamba wanaka kwa mlango uh, and there are other things that they're supposed to do at home mm-hmm. and they are not doing them. Mm-hmm. And then expecting you that you are in town making money. And the the the, 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 the like for example this lady that refused to pick up the, to pick up the mother's phone. The mother is insisting that huwezi huwezi kuwa huna like hauna aje na sisi tunataka You understand? Mm-hmm. So even even when you do not have you are still expected to give and if you do not give then you don't become the son that they raised. Mm-hmm. You know, we raised you and you're not <coughs> able to help us. Now you na sa hiyo wewe hauta huwezi kujisaidia na mtu anasema wewe hutaki kuwasaidia na wewe huwezi kujisaidia and number two, I do not believe that children in 2020 are in the turn of the century should be used as life insurance yeah i do not think that in fact for us people who are living now we should not give birth to children because those children should be able to take care of us when we are in our old age it's a gamble and it's a bet that might really fall apart for example right now i have one child which is a girl A lot of people are telling me that I don't have a child because I have a daughter. That huyo ataolewa huku kisi, huyo ataolewa huku mountain, huyo sije ataolewa wapi? In fact, in Luo, do you know that do you know that 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 thing that captures chickens in the night in in huko western inaitwaje? In ngoza. Inaitwangaje ukitu? Ni uteo. Ni mangusa. Mangusa. So in Luo culture, they call a woman a mangusa. But that's not appropriate. <laughs> Whichever whether it's appropriate or not appropriate they call him that they say that that in fact in Lu language they say a, a, a girl is an ogwang. Mm-hmm. Ogwang does not belong. You understand? Mm-hmm. The woman does not belong. So like my daughter does not belong uh, in my homestead. She will fly away. Mm-hmm. And then I will remain without any child mm-hmm. when I am old and 70 and soiling myself are not able to shit mm. no there is nobody that will come and help me they are saying that i should get a son so that when i am soiling myself somebody will be coming to help me what they are trying to say that i should set up an insurance for old age and that insurance should be a human being mm. i do not know how that makabila is going mm. to turn out you get So now when I have that makabila mimi niko niko nyumbani kwetu I am calling makabila every day that I put my money in you where is it Na una can I can I comment something on that Yes there is there is a statement you said that I think is very manipulative Yes the statement I raised you mm. Why are you telling me you raised me Did I ask you to have me in the first place See no, see is, see, is, see see no, see is, one problem. <laughs> yeah, it, is. it is it is it is it is an arrogant statement mm-hmm. just the way I raised you is a senseless statement. You see um you and him yeah. have two very different perspectives on this thing because for him his brothers came through. Yes, they helped him and he has become. So yes. there is no problem with him reaching out and helping whenever he can 
the reason I relate with your story is because it's exactly the same with my father's. Mm. My father has schooled all of his brothers. Yes. He sends money home. Yeah. And atuma mpaka simiti ya kujenga nyumba. Drops out at class eight to go get married. Mnakula pesa ya kujenga. You go steal the food that he has bought in the city, brought back at home. Yet you yourself had an equal opportunity in life. You cannot tell me that we were raised by the same parents until we were adults. Mm. We have the same education. In fact, I even have less. But I made it out of the hood. And you now think you become my responsibility. Because if, sadly, if it were not for my father's brothers and the extended family, mm. that man would be very rich. Mm. When I was younger, I used to see a lot of... There's a time when my dad used to sell mitumba in mm. West Market, Eldoret. At that time, my mom was selling mandazis. Yeah. I have seen these two rise above the ranks mm. to become people I never imagined them they could be. Back then, I used to see my friends wanna ride bikes, mimi sina. Wanaendesha toy cars, mimi sina. Then, at that time, me, my dad to me was Superman. I asked dad, niaje, I want mine. Dad ananiambia sina pesa. I never used to understand. Nash, una pesa nini? Una, you, you, see, you see that kind of perception. Mm. But now growing up, something happens back at home, he is the one to take care of it. Something happens to my grandmother, he is the one to take care of it. Yet, his brothers are living around him. He went to a village school in Kingandole. The extended family, the brothers were taken to Nairobi school, Lenana school. Yet, he is the one who made it out of there. And they still expect him to come and lift them out of the hood. And, but you see, the problem lies with your mentality. You had an equal shot, the same as I did. I do not believe kuna mwana, kuna binadamu mjinga na kuna binadamu mwerevu. It's just how you utilize your brain. But now that I have made it, where does the entitlement that I should provide for you come from? You are overlooking everything that I have done for you. You are not even thinking that I could have my own problems and you're asking me for some. People, I used to see a lot of times my extended family wakikuja kukana sisi. Mm. This man goes out of his way, reaches out to help these people. When they are done, they go back home. When we travel back home, they ask him for 50 bob. He says no. Because wanataka kuenda kunyo changa. And then wananza kuseme ni mchoyo. Yeti leta imtoto wako alikuwa mgonjwa, haku kuwa na school fees, ni uja mali mpeleka shule. Alikulipia school fees pia wewe and you decided to drop out and you still think that this is the same person who holds your destiny is his hands. Now, wewe ni mtu mkubwa. That is why I relate with what you're saying because I have seen it myself. So let me, let me, let me, let me, that is what, that is let, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me come back to him because there is a statement that he has, he has said is, uh, is, is arrogant. Do you think, brother, it is fair to tell your son that the reason why I'm asking you to help me is because I raised you? Jagero. Mm. As human beings, yeah, we are not we are not weeds. Yeah, we we know those forest weeds. Yes, you just find them there. Mm. You know, human beings are not like that. Yeah, we need nurturing. Yeah, for us to become who we are. Yeah, we need nurturing. Mm. You see, for me, ni me pele shule adi mali mzazi aliwezea. Yeah, which is from four. Mm. I can't fault him for that because sure. I have seen the struggle for sure. that he has been going through. Mm. For me even to reach from four, yes. it has been a struggle. Yeah. I cannot expect anything other than what he has provided for me Yes, because I know he gave his all. Mm. My, parent, my parents do not drink. They taught me the same. Mm. Whatever they have given me, it's what I've taken. Yeah. Whatever else I become after that, yeah. it's on me. Because mm-hmm. they did their level best to raise me. So if someone reminds me that I sacrificed everything for you to have a chance, mm. bro, Jesus reminds people every day, 
even his friends, the 12 disciples, remind people every day in scripture that it's because of him that you have a chance. Mm. It's because he died on the cross that you have a chance. Yeah. So now you're telling me, your parent telling you, it is because I sacrificed that you got the chance. Yeah. That's a sin. But that is not that no, is that not is what not that's not statement. what we are saying. What that's what we are saying is the that's not what we are saying. He said the see. statement should not come that I raised you. Do not expect. You that see, you see the, st- the statement. The statement, statement when standing alone has no problem. You. The statement standing alone has no problem at all. The fact that my father is telling me that I raised you has no problem. When my father is telling me that I raised you to where you are. You, you finish the university i did nikafanya juchini ukapata hiyo attachment nikafanya juchini nikaongea na my friend of nine of that i went to school with ukapata job so now that you have a job your responsibility is to get me back some of that money that's problematic yeah that's very problematic that's problematic because because then you are not you are not you are not raising a child you are raising an investment i uh, let me ask you something there is people in this country yeah. who go to school courtesy of help. Yes. <clears throat> do they pay it back? Yes, they do. Do they complain? They sh- they, they they should not because, because your parent your parent and your parent your, your the help did not give because, give birth to you because the government is saying it is because of me. Let's let's are, let's let's give a distinction. Uh, when the bank gives you money, so you the value, bank is not your parent. So you're saying you value the bank more than you value your No, parent. I have a problem when my my parent or my sister is telling me that I took you to school because when they were taking you, you to You have a problem when your parent starts behaving like a bank. Yes. Yes, precisely. You th- and thank you for saying it for me. I have a problem when my parents are treating me like help and are treating me like a bank. But you never complain paying help. Huh? Yes, because because they did not give bring me into this world. These are people I found here. I found them here and now I'm looking for them to help me. But then because for example do you, let me ask you a simple question now si usi usikuje na psychology na na na, na, na vitu mingi <laughs> don't be don't be don't be philosophical about okay. it when you are you raising your uh, if you if by chance you start raising a family now are you raising them so that they can help you in the future that is not my target mm-hmm. okay like i'm raising a daughter right now yes my daughter is 7 yes perfect uh, I'm not raising her yes. so that she helps me in future. Okay. And uh, that's, that's good. To stop at that. I'm, I'm asking you another question. Mm-hmm. When your daughter is grown and is married in, uh, in, in Matu, in Okambani, could you pick a call, call her and ask you that you have been there, I see you guys on Instagram having a good life and you're not helping me, but I raised you. D- would you do that to her? Okay. Now, usiende na usiende philosophical ni uni swali rahisi sana nimekuuliza makabila. Answer yes or no. Answer yes or no. It can't be a yes or no answer because uh-huh. it is a complex problem. Yes. Now understand something. Mm-hmm. You are asking me mm-hmm. this question when my daughter is 7. <laughs> okay. And mm-hmm. the answer is supposed mm-hmm. to be when my daughter is 30. Mm-hmm. Okay. You get. Mm-hmm. So when my daughter is 30, I'm hoping yeah. that I've secured my future enough. Yes, you are own. My own future. Yes, you are own. Enough that she doesn't need to. Yes. In fact, yes. I should be, according to scripture, yes. I should be building inheritance yes. for her. Exactly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now you are agreeing with us on this you table. Understand. Yes. I should be building inheritance mm-hmm. for her. Mm. But life is life. Mm. And life happens to everyone. Yeah. Life might happen that how I'm living now is the best I will ever live. It might get to that point mm-hmm. that by the time I'm 60, I cannot afford to live in the same house I'm living in right now. Correct. Mm. You get. Mm. So at that point, if I need help, who is the first person I got? Because my parents will be dead by then. You 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 you, you, you call your daughter. Exactly. And take her answer. Yeah. Trust her answer, right? 
Would you not? I will trust her yes. that when she tells me that Dini Kovibar, yes. I would understand. But yes. remember, mm-hmm. I've also been raised different. Yes. I've also been raised different. Mm-hmm. So our parents were also raised different. Yeah. So it is upon us. Because remember, we are more knowledgeable than our parents. We have more information than our parents ever did mm. in their lifetime. So we can understand more. We are more emotionally intelligent than our parents. Mm-hmm. That we can understand them to a point where we don't need to look at their help as black tax. Mm-hmm. You get? I, I so for me, the problem I have yes. is us, uh-huh. a generation with all the information, a generation that can be able to understand mm. that our parents were going through something with the least information. What is what is what is the okay. negativity I, in the phrase? What is what is the negativity for you in the word in the word black tax? Imagine, how does how does it how does it how does it how does it hit you negatively? Imagine because of the word tax, tax parliament was banned. Mm. Now imagine putting the same connotation to your parents. Mm. People who have made sacrifices mm. on your behalf. Yes. Assuming that they now are con people that are trying to get money from you mm-hmm. under falsehood. Okay. Okay. That is the only problem. Okay. Oh, that, that I, 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 I get I get I get where you, I get I get your big your problem with it and I get checklist for a woman. We to were actually talking about family and women. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, and that's where I'm going. Too much too to digress, <laughs> bro. Sa, sa. But I I, I think that digression is not is is very much tied to patriarchy. Yeah, yeah. So I think yeah, I think okay. it is what what is what is your top 5, top 3 that you are looking for a woman that you want to uh, have a life with? Um or you don't have? No. You must have. Yes. I believe you must have. Mm. Because if you don't, you're going to end up with the low hanging fruits. <laughs> Surely. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, this is it for me. Mm-hmm. Number one, somebody who has respect. And respect starts with you. Yes. Yourself. Yes. It will be easy for you to respect other people. Mm. Um Mm. It will be very easy for you to respect other people whether or not you are disagreeing with them or mm. agreeing with them. Yeah. That is my first thing. Um, number two, unfortunately, uh, people do not have control over their family situations, but I would prefer, it's not a must, but I would prefer a lady who has had a father figure in their life. Mm. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because you you because you you ladies, you you ladies you 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 you, 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 you sana. Okay, ladies who have had father figures in their lives do not perceive masculinity or patriarchy as competition or as suppressing. Mm. They perceive it as protective, nurturing, and providing. Mm. See, if you do not, if you okay. Uh, I, I, when you do something for at least 21 days, it becomes a habit, and habits build character. So when you have had somebody who has been a father all your life, you will not see having a man in your life, especially a man who's patriarchal or authoritative, mm. as competition or as somebody who's trying to suppress you. Yeah. I get this comment a lot. I do not know why. I have had several ladies Oh, Nairobi, because I never had it uh, back back in school. Yeah, I had this comment that you are controlling. Okay. Not me, my not I myself. I've even had friends being told that. But if you look at the bigger picture, I am not trying to control what you do, what you don't do, what you think, what you don't think. Uh, there is two two sides of communication. There is the communicated meaning and there is the perceived meaning. So if you say, kuna situation ni takuita mjinga and you will laugh. Na kuna situation takuita mjinga na utajama. Kabisa. 
So the difference between communicated uh, uh, the difference between intended communication and perceived information is how these two people interpret the information they are receiving. So when I tell you do not do this, <coughs> do not do that, I intend I can't say I have your best interests at heart because I do not know what your interests are by by you doing whatever you're doing. But when I tell you to not do this or do that something that you do not like, there is a way you will perceive it. And if you perceive it as me trying to be controlling, patriarchal or a bully or a toxic masculinist <coughs> of which there is no such term in this world, <laughs> yes, the third one. I mean. um, the third thing I look for is character. <coughs> I need someone who can be able to maintain the same standard even when I am not around. Mm. I need someone who can stand in for me, who can have my back even when I am not around. Mm. I do not need to be there. It's just like mkiwa shule mwalimu usila ufai kufanya vitu vile unafaa mwalimu akiwa around peke. Um another thing akili. Yeah. Ayo wasichana squeeze akili. Eh squeeze ni Man, okay, one huge problem there is with this society is that most men are so dismissed from face value. Yeah. A lady would fall in love with you after amekujua. Sio after amekuona. Akikupenda after amekuona it's most likely infatuation. Mm. But on the other side, a man would fall in love with you akikuona. Alafu akikujua. See. <coughs> those are uh, those are my must haves hizo zingine tunaweza deal nazo hizo zingine na dina na huyu jamaa wa generation uh, you are millennial <coughs> traditional african man yeah what is what is <laughs> i am i'm going to ask you african i'm going to man. ask you to, to ask you something else mm. well, once yes mm. but makabila mm. what is it that uh, you look for in a woman that you want to settle with either as a girlfriend or as a wife Is that by the way is there a difference for the woman that you're dating as a girlfriend and the woman that you're dating to become your wife? Do you make that comparison ama when you love somebody you you are on track? Uh, I've been I've been dating for five years now. So mm, mm. For me it's just someone that okay one it's someone that I'm willing to fight for. Yes. And someone that is willing to fight for me that uh, not fight for me in terms of nibaki ama nisiende no i'm talking in terms of life because mm. life is a struggle so when she has her own struggles that i would be willing and ready to jump into the fight with her mm. and when i have my own struggles she will be right there uh, and she think her sword to fight with me mm. that is number one. Mm. and number two. I uh, know someone I enjoy having sex with. Mm. Yeah. Sex is a biggie Plus for you. <laughs> sex is a biggie for you. <coughs> okay. Human beings we are we are, we are like sex is a very big aspect mm. for human beings. Yeah. That's that, that's the reason God created women. Mm. Like, mm? Yeah, if you read scripture God created women for for it's because men were obsessed with how animals were having sex. <laughs> <laughs> But I think the Bible says it so that Adam could have a companion. Yeah, it was companion was okay. Hii ni scripture gani unasoma tusome? Because it is because we cannot control the desires of the flesh. Mm-hmm. Okay. But but in any case why was God telling us to control the desires of the of, of you so so god put these desires in us and then there was nobody to mm, the desires came with the flesh the flesh is an earthly thing mm. we are not earthly beings we are spiritual beings yeah but but in flesh lakini god akitoweka kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kwa kwa the garden of eden to send the kwa religion <laughs> why i insist on sex is because if i don't enjoy having sex with my partner mm. i will try find someone that I will enjoy sex. Lakini si ni ujamaa ndo ameenda religion. Mimi nimeenda religion ama ni yeye ameenda kuku kwa religion. Si ni amesema hiyo mambo ya creation. We will digress. We will I understand how complex. Na wewe pia usituletee vitu zenye zita to digress. Kwa sababu hiyo statement yako inafaa inafaa inafanuliwe. No, but nishafafanua. Okay, let's go to it. Eh? 
I, I, I don't understand why you're saying that women were created for the for so that so that a man can have some somebody to have sex with. Okay, so there is there is. And then he is saying that he, the, it was for companionship. So I don't know whether you are speaking the same but, language. But can you also, co- in your response, could you also consider that we are no longer living during the creation times? What do you mean? We are living in 2024. How long ago was creation done? Are you t- are you trying to say that we have we you 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 you, 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 you theory any, that's what is that theory that saying that women that men were once monkeys is yeah, that the it? creation no, theory that, that, that is for white people um, <laughs> but, but 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 in real sense <laughs> in, but in real sense <laughs> what is wait wait we makabila inaitwa aje used to ria sisi ku kwa evolution yeah yeah hiyo evolution evolution I, is darwin's theory yeah Eh hey. Darwin was you just c- an explorer like he didn't know anything he was just an explorer and if you look at it right now the DNA that has been done right now yeah white people are more related to neanderthals than <coughs> africans yeah africans have more human DNA and white people have more neanderthal dna yeah, we will talk about this and maybe some that will some some us again yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just that information yeah. <laughs> so, so i'm saying yeah the evolution theory mm-hmm. darwin was wrong that is what i'm trying to okay tell okay, you okay great um, so the creation theory says okay there is more scripture than what is would you marry a woman that is that has more money than you have Would you marry up or down? No, like I've told you what I look for in Does a woman. Does money really make someone become up? But that's No, but I've told like, you what I look for in a woman. Does money come anywhere there? But I'm asking you, bro, because you see, I'm asking you because so can I qualify I can, my question I, then? I can, I or can, you know my question and you are running away from me. I it. can marry a woman who makes more money than me. Yeah. Has more money than me. Yes. If I am willing to fight for her. Okay. And she's willing to fight for me. Beautiful. Wewe siwezi. Kwa nini? Um Apparently because, no, 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 not really. <laughs> yeah. It has nothing to do with that and I hear ladies a, a lot of times saying that uh, we are insecure about marrying ladies who have money more than myself but for me that's not the case. Mm. Um There is a reason why I'm not dating and I said it's because I have not reached the level I want to reach to. Mm. No, no. I do not want to ever be needy. There is a difference between wanting and needing. So, a lady who has more money than me, the biggest problem I have with that is that a lot of times for ladies to get to that point where they have more money than you, they have gone through a lot. Is that so? Lakini si anaweza 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 kuwa tuna education poor akamaliza shule akapata 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 akaenda Oxford. Okay, the 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 Chris Kirubi died recently. Yeah. Akaachia sijui ni nephew wake ama ni 5 million in the account. Yes. That kid hasn't gone through anything. Some of them it's inherited. Yeah. So it's the past. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh ni sawa I understand your perspective. Or what I'm saying does not apply to everybody. What I'm saying does not apply to everybody. I'm talking in the sense of the things ladies today have to do for money. Mm. You see, those are the type of things I'm talking about. Okay. You utapata wamepitia industry ni chafu. Media industry ni chafu Mr. Kudanganya and the even involuntarily wanalazimishwa kufanya vitu zingine so that they get these favors wapate do so that they progress in their careers. Yeah. You see. Um there are ladies out here who know how to go out there be a tigress kick ass at their work yeah. make money and mm. come home and still know how to be a wife mm. but unfortunately most of them wakitengeneza hiyo pesa okay look at this mimi niki make do si nimekuambia sijafika huko niki make do uh in my thoughts nitafikiria let me look for a wife and settle down mm. but babe aki make do kwa kile yake atafikiria i do not need a man so you see you see that mindset ya when you decide to get into marriage it's something you're doing for life mm. you can't gamble there vitu zinaweza haribika but yeah. hufai kugamble nani 
uh, Makabila. Yes. Give your reaction because I'm closing this podcast in the next in the next two minutes. To me and Ambali Zana Buru. No, for me, uh, I I I, uh, I would say, as young men, mm-hmm. as young men, we should be. We need to start being careful mm-hmm. on how we 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 understand these issues. Yeah. Because you see, the same way he's saying that women in the industry nowadays are doing weird things to yeah to make money to make money yeah but you also need to understand there is women in this industry that are married yeah so when we make these statements what if someone's husband or someone's fiance you do think that is a, it's it's, so it's 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 a, it's, it's a dangerous uh, generali- generalization it's very important that we, that when we get to platforms like this yeah we be we be very careful yeah how, how we, mm. we air some of this cause mm. I yeah, my my my, my thinking my thinking is and the reason why we are having a dialogue and for me why I think we should have dialogues and uh, and and for me I have no prob- the reason why I have no problem with her, with him saying that because wanawake wanaongeanga kwa internet bro they say whatever is in their head and how apples. and and how they are feeling and my problem is that a lot of men are not speaking and i feel like if you really want to know and we have talked about this with you with a gentleman who is a political activist it is only after he spoke that you saw through him if he had been quiet you would not have seen through him so my thinking as a society is that when we let people speak whether it is coming from a place of wisdom whether it's coming from a place of ignorance i think it is important for them to speak because even when you want to help somebody you need to hear their thinking and you get their thinking by listening to them speak once they have spoken you now have the avenue to correct them you have an avenue to put a, to, to to bring forth a discussion and understand because for example right now we are having these problems that women are having with men mm-hmm. and you see these women that are highly popular online mm-hmm having posts and women are all the way to a thousand comments yes 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 wana women wana kuja huko wana sema what they think wana to see what they are told they are banned from the platforms they are blocked they are saying kama una kitu eshima kitu what is the word they use if you don't have something proper to say then go say it somewhere else but if we do not put all our feelings on the table then we don't know how to discuss and my my and what for me i would like young people young men especially to say is to say and i'm not saying that he's saying anything stupid i'm not saying he's saying something that is not good he's saying what he y- yes you and know, i'm saying what yet, i have experienced yes and i feel that it's very very important for men especially to speak and for me a dialogue with jagero i would rather a man says what he thinks and what his experience is because then after saying that then even women you know okay this is what they are thinking i have to say what i feel then at, then at the end of the day we come to a conclusion on what is the best way forward As but if you tell them to be careful on what to say then you are it's i for me i think that you are not now remember i yes. told you as we were beginning that i'm a traditional african man yes and there is a saying that says what is the best teacher in life I don't experience know. Yes, is the best teacher. Mm. So whatever you have experienced, don't talk about the experience. Mm. Talk about the lessons. Yeah. The lessons are more important than yeah. the experience. Mm. So t- give us the lessons. Yeah. That is what I'm advocating, not for him. But then also, but but that but then also you might have an experience that you not had your lessons. Then that's where I told you <laughs> in patriarchy. Yeah. When you go through something, yeah, take time to understand what you've been That through. is important. That what I agree is very important. Yes, understand what you've been through. Okay. Before you come before us, because yes. we will ask questions. Yes. And we will expect answers. Mm. It's just the same way when you're guiding your daughter. Yeah. She has questions. I don't yeah. know how old she is. She's 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 she'll be 9 in 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 January. Exactly. She's mm. asking questions. Yes. So when she asks questions, as the father you must have answers yes because she will go one day on the internet 
she will listen to him speak yeah and then she will come to you yes for answers that he, she did not get from him yeah so you must have learned something from what he said mm. that you are able to guide yeah because if we do not guide the future generation yeah then we are planning to burn and and, and and i am glad that we can come onto this table and 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 give this this you know the, the nuggets of wisdom that you are putting on the table and you remember if you had not heard from him you'd not know what to put on the table exactly which is very very important it, it is important like <laughs> yes. we are all we all need each other i'm yeah. not saying yeah. that we are wrong in yeah. any way exactly i'm just saying like as as you have said women bash men all the time on the internet yeah but we as as an african man yeah i am saying we need to start being careful yes because whatever we've been doing speak carefully exactly mm. because words yeah burn yes and also words build yes so that we is need true. to start beginning to understand <coughs> the words we are using what are they doing yes what is the impact of our words yeah yes but i'm i'm finishing this podcast no problem do you know do you know uh what i like about this is that i'm getting different perspectives and yeah. you see there are things i used to think before i came to this table and yeah. right now i can very easily discard them because i have had your perspective and it makes sense yes oh, no no mm. um i speak from a point of experience and i will not mm. allude it to being a gen z being vocal or anything yeah. if i have experienced anything and i've learned something from it i will speak it as it is yes true and after speaking it as it is and i move forward in my life because i am not wiser than i would be 10 years from now correct moving so. forward i get the same experience but in a different light trust me i will stand corrected great thank, thank you. you very much mr makabila i'm also older than him so <laughs> <laughs> i have had more experience we sasa wewe una na presidential in the presidential term Thank you very much people of the internet that was Makabila and Scott. I really love the conversation. Please join the conversation in the comments. Uh let's have comments that are building us. You know, one of the things I like about dialogues Jagero, I would like people to come and say the things that they feel should be on the table. And that is why I had Makabila, I had Scott, uh and the 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 the, the table also had me. So please consider subscribing. Uh follow Scott on his, on his um on his Instagram account. Which one is the most Scott Ian Obaru? Yeah. Now which am I just say matter mambo ya Instagram ayuko huko Generation Z. Oh. Patriarchy. Thanks for having me. Yes. Asante. Was it has been insightful. It's been very nice. Until another episode bye for now.